when I got my boobs done, that's what I was going to tell you. When I got my boobs done, I had to have one. Are you okay? Yeah. It's got okay. I had to have one redone three times. I can't believe you didn't know this because I had like scar tissue was building up in the left boob. So I kept having to get it redone. And I hired like a Beverly Hills surgeon. So the first time I got it redone, I paid for it. The second time I told him I have my show on Playboy channel at the time and he tried to charge me full price again. And I was like, if you want me to pay for this, I will. But on my show, I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to say your name and I'm going to talk about my, like how I keep having to get my boob redone and how it's been botched by this doctor. And I thought like Asians were the best surgeons, but you're doing a horrible job. So he redid it for me for free that time. Mm -mm. Right. But here's the thing. After the third time, I had a blood bag. Have you ever had surgery where you had to have a blood bag, like a mm -hmm. drainage bag? No, I wouldn't have had the surgery. I didn't know I was going to have it. It sure, never like the word before. blood bag. Dude, <sighs> I had a fucking tube, a drain tube coming from my boob out my armpit with a sack hanging off of it that I had to empty twice a day that would fill up with pus and blood, okay? <laughs> but wait, I know you don't like blood, but the, the story the story has a point, okay? And tit blood. <laughs> and tit That's blood. That's fucked up. And by the way, it was supposed to only be there for a week, and then they were going to take it off me. And then for some reason, I just kept draining too much. They can't take it off you until you're draining less than some certain amount a day, like two ounces or whatever. And I was filling the bag still like two weeks later. And the doctor was like, we don't understand what's happening, but we can't take it out. So for like two weeks, I'm walking around with a fucking blood. I had to hide it, but a blood sack. Okay. So I can't shower myself. I didn't want to cancel my spots. I was doing stand up. This was only like five four years ago, maybe. So I didn't want to cancel my spots. So I was going on stage, like the Hollywood Improv, like the comedy store, no one knew, with this sack of blood hanging out of my armpit, performing. I couldn't gesture with my left arm at all. And then I had no boyfriend, and I couldn't shower myself. So I called my ex-boyfriend, and I asked him to come over and help me, like, shower every couple nights. And this is when I learned that men are like, absolute fiends for sex because he came over i'm so gross i haven't showered in days oh, no, that's how we want i'm sweaty helpless stinky i have a sack of pus oh yeah, yeah no, Joy, what would you do if you would if you had seen like a girl and you took the shirt off and there's a blood sack? yeah you don't know and you I take drink it get a hot on <laughs> I fuck her no, in the pussy don't. like a fucking, no, no, like a locksmith. You understand me? No, you don't. You, you said you hate blood. Listen to me. If I a take your shirt sack, off it's and pus. I see a pus blood sack, <laughs> I'm going to punch you like T.J. Miller. You understand me? <laughs> oh right God. in the fucking mouth. Oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> T.J., I love you. Um, I love you, too, man. So here's the thing. So this, So my ex at the time, he starts to like, and I have bandages over my boobs still, stitches in one boob. And then my ex, he's like cleaning me off. I smell. And then he goes, is it weird that this is turning me on? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm fucking disgusting. I'm disgusting. I have a pus bag hanging off me. And he was like, can I fuck you? And then I didn't even want to, but I felt like I owed him because he's taking care of me. So I was like, I guess so. I wasn't supposed to have sex for a month. So I was like, you can, but you got to be slow. You can't, you can't raise my heart rate. <laughs> Or the stitches my bust. <laughs> so I let, I let him fuck me with like four day dirty hair and a pus bag hanging out. And I was smelly and gross. I hadn't shaved. Oh. And um, he enjoyed it though. I oh, think so. I'm telling you, he took that condom <laughs> off and sniffed it for a month. <laughs>